Hey, I'm Pascal from Orders Pixel, and this week I decided to create a tile map level editor for Regulator City. Um, I've been recording steps all throughout the week as I was creating it. So um, after the intro past me, we'll take over and we'll explain to you what I've been doing from Tuesday all the way to the end of the week. It's now Saturday as I'm recording this intro, but it all started on Tuesday. After the intro. It's Tuesday afternoon, it's rainy outside, it's dark outside and gray, and it's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Um, I started working on a new level editor, I guess. This is the first stuff I'm recording for this video, but I'm sure my future self just introduced all this. So um, I don't really want to be here. I don't want to work on a level editor, but I have to. Um, it's not working what I had. So this is just, I'm now tinkering so that I can place walls. And the hurdle for me now is that this is a lot of work. I'm not sure it's gonna be useful. And also I don't wanna work on it, but it has to be done because nobody else is doing it. So we can place walls now, um, but the first problem is already showing. I have to be able to place entities like doors, windows. They are all a little bit done differently in the game. But in the level editor, they have to be uh, just as easy as walls. So I now have to create a bunch of code that makes it look like doors and windows and stuff like that. It's very easy to place. But on the back side, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be done to make sure those doors will actually open up and behave as doors. It's messy and all right, I just have to finish it. It's 3.30, I can still work on this for another hour. Let's see if we can at least make these doors work. Um, they're semi-working, I guess. Let, let me just show you where I am right now. This is just phase one. So it's not much to look at right now. Uh, right here, I can pick a door and I should be able to place a door here. And as you can see, it already looks a bit crappy. Um, let me just show the horizontal doors. Of course, the game has to calculate where a door is horizontal or vertical. Also the tile, the skinning, everything. It's all is just, it's working, but barely. So uh, let's place a door there. And um, yeah, like I said, it's all working slightly somewhat, but a uh, long way to go on something I don't really want to be working on. Did I mention that I don't want to be working on this? I think I did. So. Um, can we, we can't place a door here, why not? Because there need to be an extra wall. So I did add a bunch of checks and things already. Um, we're just not there yet. And um, that's it. That's how far I got so far. This is my Tuesday. Let's hope Wednesday is gonna be a lot better. All right, so um, the trick or the trick I use for uh, working on stuff you don't really like is to make sure that um, you have everything set up, to, ready to go for the next day. So yesterday on Tuesday, I finished up the editor by making sure I could add furniture to the levels. Um, just to push it a little bit more into the direction of a full level editor. That meant today, it's now Wednesday, I could just jump in, dive in and actually start with a good feeling about this editor because I think we're pretty close to having it uh, functional. It won't be user friendly, it won't be perfect, it will have a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing because it might break the whole editor or break the whole level. But it should be usable for me as developer to make sure I can create a couple of levels. And um, from there on we'll just improve the level editor to make it more um, stable, I guess. Um, let me just show you right now what we got. We can place furniture everywhere. We can actually dive into the levels that are being generated. Right now, all the levels in the game are still being generated, but we can now uh, open the editor and then modify those levels. We can't save them, we can't load them, so it's pretty much a waste of time, but we can at least uh, start building things. We're getting close to something that's usable. Let me show you. So this is the scrapyard level as it's being generated by the computer and we can now uh, move through it and change some stuff. Um, first, let me show you, we can now uh, start adding a uh, placing item. So 
uh, scroll wheel will simply go through all the items we have. So let's say we want a couple of beds on this scrapyard. It doesn't make much sense, but we can now do this. If we want an airplane somewhere in this backyard, then scrapyard, then here we go. We have an airplane. Uh, we could also park a few outside here. We got a plane for this one. Let's create a couple of airplanes. And uh, this is now how we're gonna be uh, building levels. Um, of course, this is all for, I mean, have to scroll through every item in the list. We're gonna have to be able to just pick certain types and quickly um, select those and place those. But for now, this would work. It just uh, takes a lot of time to create levels like this and we can already uh, delete stuff. So um, yeah, it's, it's getting there. Next step, I think, I want to be able to change the look of the tiles right now. Uh, it's just the tile set that is that happened to be picked. So we now have these walls, but we need to be able to set these type of tile sets. Also the floor tiles. This isn't the best tile anyway. So I want to be able to create new tiles and add them to it. And um, I think that's the next step. And after that, we'll have to start um, being able to save these data files and then load them in the game and see if everything still works. Um, right now, we should be able to actually run around in it. Not sure if he adds the planes. No, he didn't. Um, let me go a new map. Let me just go into a building. We don't have a building. Let me go into the headquarters. And then if we open up the editor, you can see we are now um, editing this level. So um, that should be interesting if we can just hop into the game, edit the level, change it, play test it, and then uh, create a bunch of these. We're on the right track. A few hours later now, it's 3 p.m. Um, first thing, some of you uh, know the guy in the back, obviously, he's gonna ask this, why am I creating a new editor? Why am I not using any of the tile editing tools that are available on the internet. Um, for me, well, the reason is pretty simple. This editor is gonna be built completely into the game. It uses all the information and data that the game has, and I need a lot of specific stuff happening in the level editor. So um, this way I can just make sure that everything I need will be available in the editor. And maybe, very maybe, don't hold this against me at all, but maybe I'll release this editor in the game as well, so that people can actually make um, new areas and we can all play missions in those areas, which would be pretty awesome. But for that, we, needed, um, we need the editor to be much more user-friendly. And right now, it's not. But um, I can now change floors. And that means next step is saving the data and probably also adding um, enemies here and there. I actually just uh, googled for flood fill uh, for the floors. I want to be able to click anywhere in a room and then have that whole room have the same floor. And I know that the logic and the theory of flood fill and how it works, but writing the code without bugs is... Uh, the code is out there on the internet. You can just find it and Google it and, and modify it a little bit. And the end result is pretty good. Let me show you. So very quickly, I uh, will take the headquarters as base uh, because it's just very simple and open area. Um, I changed a bunch of things, tweaked some stuff so we can now more easily do uh, stuff like this and quickly draw something. We'll then place a door over here and maybe another door over here. And uh, then we have this icon, which will allow me to um, place floors. And if we click in this room, we will modify the floor in that room. Uh, this is a step thing, so it steps through the options that are available. And I still need to do some tweaking, like the door also need to have the same floor, or maybe I'll just create special tiles for underneath those doors, which would also solve a lot of issues. Um, and this is basically how we are gonna be able to quickly um, change the floors. I also added um, changing the wall tiles. So we can now change the tile set used for these uh, areas. And um, that's a lot of steps already done. So uh, it's like I said, we're getting there very slowly and um, eventually we'll have a pretty cool level editor, I think. Uh, now I just need to make sure we can save this stuff and actually use it in the game and that everything still works in the game. Because, well, 
it's all done a little bit differently or oh, obviously these floors also oh, still a bug i need to fix here as soon as i play something the whole floor changes uh, that's not what's supposed to be happening but we're getting there and that's the main important thing how cool would it be to add a toilet next to an airplane or just big or just some cars in your living room why not it's all gonna be possible once this level editor is up and running or maybe you'll just have a lot of junk in a corner somewhere no problem we can have that all and then change the floor tiling so i'm actually starting to become happy with this whole idea and decision to make the level editor um, still a huge amount of things and tiny things that need tweaking and fixing but this is now almost usable i think as soon as we can save this data and load it into the game i can actually continue working on the game and tinker with the editor but it will all be up and running and um, we'll be able to create much more interesting areas for our missions it's now friday um you might hear it in my voice yesterday thursday i just had a little like 24 hour flu i was very cold and sweaty and hot all at the same time not feeling well i didn't do any work on the game uh, today I wrapped up the saving and loading in the editor. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of actual work today. Um, right now the only thing missing is placing enemies. Um, should be pretty simple because it's pretty much like all the furniture except I just need to add a little uh, editor command to instead of furniture place an enemy and then we have a level editor. Um, the loading works. That part can now be copied into the game. I just have to figure out do I dump all these levels and designs into a big file or do I make a lot of separate files for types and areas and stuff like that? I um, haven't thought that much through yet for the main reason that I wasn't sure this was all going to work. Uh, now that it is, I have to start thinking about those things. But um, let me show you the loading and saving. and um, It's pretty easy, straightforward stuff. The code for saving is pretty simple. Um, we just collect all the information in our file or in our tile map, which are the tiles, floor tiles, entities, subtypes. We turn them all into bytes and we jump uh, all those bytes in a file. And of course with load template, we just read all those bytes and then turn it all back into the information we need for the tile map. The files are pretty small. Um, I think we're at 10 kilobytes per area. Um, yeah 9.3 kilobytes it looked like this uh, this is pretty much a first simple area let me show you in the editor because we can now load this file so uh, this is the level generated by the computer but if we now load the version we have on the file on, on the disk we come to this one and um, just show you a little bit that it actually functions and works let me place an airplane. I just find it very fascinating to place these airplanes in the middle of such area. I'm not sure what, what that fascination is, but um, let me also change a little bit of the floor textures. This one maybe. And this one to that. And then we save the file. And then um, let me just mess it up a little bit. And of course, load back the file we saved. And as you can see, uh, it restores the file. So um, pretty cool. We can now start using this for level editing, or at least I can use it. It's not very user friendly yet, but it does the job. And that's pretty much the main thing I need to create interesting levels. So that means right now I can create interesting stuff and um, not just get stuck with these square areas that were created by the procedural generation we can now do things like hallways corridors and different type of shaped rooms um, i just have to add enemies in there that's the main thing missing right now um, and then i'll start and keep tweaking the editor because eventually we'll also want to add certain hotspots for mission and things like that now the editor isn't user friendly it's just for me right now i'll see if i can make it user friendly so eventually people can actually use it i haven't decided on that just yet uh, right now i just need to make sure we can load these levels in the game and actually play them and i should also be able to create more of these areas a lot faster than i was doing them right now so um more content is coming to the game um, it was an interesting week 
and I don't like creating tools on some levels. I do like creating and digging into these things, but it also kind of pretty much delays the game because this whole week I didn't spend any time on the game itself, just on this editor and I wasn't sure it was going to work and was going to do what I want. Of course, now the end result is pretty cool. So it wasn't a real waste this week and it was interesting to tinker with it, but just pushing yourself to do tasks you don't like can be hard and um, I managed to pull through it. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, we're now a level editor and we can continue working on the game. But that's it for this week's video. Um, I'm just gonna think with it some more, but I hope you like the video and just seeing this process of creating an editor. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Of course, like the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. We're almost nearing episode 200. That's 200 uh, weeks, continuous, continuous weeks? Yeah. Un 200 weeks in a row having these videos on Thursday afternoon. It's, wow, I didn't think I would last this long doing them this long on YouTube, but I haven't missed a single Thursday since I started back in 2018, I think, or 2019, ah, somewhere around there. Um, so uh, pretty cool. 200 episode, if you have any ideas on topics that should be, uh, interesting for a 200 video uh, let me know in the comment below as well because i'm trying to come up with something special but i don't really have any good ideas yet so all ideas are welcome uh, maybe i'll pick a few and combine them in one video we'll see uh, for now this was episode 198 pretty sure yeah so thanks for watching see you next week bye